Hello, Fight fans, and welcome to another edition of Fight News Now Extra. My name is John Pollock, and Robin Black is going to be joining me in just a couple of minutes. In the news today, another retirement coming out of Bellator 96, a scary story involving weight cutting, and the Bellator numbers are in from this past Wednesday night. The numbers are in for Bellator 96 and Fightmaster, and they are not good. The Bellator 96 live card drew 480,000 viewers, while the debut of Fightmaster averaged 432,000. The shows were going up against Game 4 of the Stanley Cup Finals, which pulled in 6.6 .6 million. Last season, Bellator averaged 809,000 viewers on Thursday nights following Impact Wrestling on Spike TV. Following his first round knockout loss to Mohamed King Mo Lawal on Wednesday night, 33-year-old Seth Petrozelli has announced his retirement after a 13-year career in the sport. Petrozelli, who competed on the second season of The Ultimate Fighter, will most be remembered for his win over Kimbo Slice on CBS in October of 2008 in the final show for Elite XC. He retires with a record of 14 and 8. And World Series of Fighting lightweight Jacob Volkman was a guest on SureDog Radio this past week discussing last weekend's win over Lyle Beerbaum at the promotion's third event. Volkman shared a story from last Thursday after his weight cut where he blacked out in his hotel room and had a seizure. Volkman, who is a licensed chiropractor, stated he didn't alert the NSAC because of fear he would be pulled from the fight and performed a self-diagnosis and said he was fine to fight. Robin Black is here to chat all of the news items going on in the world of mixed martial arts. And let's first start off with uh, the Bellator numbers coming in. 480,000 viewers tuning in for the live Bellator 96 card. And then Fightmaster, uh, right after it, 432,000 viewers. Now this is way down from their Thursday night average. Yeah. They are using the Stanley Cup Finals as a reason all of this was down, but to me, Bellator is a very niche product, and when you're down that significant amount, you're talking about a 40% drop-off rate from Thursday nights. It, it tells me that A, the wrestling lead-in was very valuable yeah. to them, and the fact that you know these numbers, um, I think the next couple of weeks are gonna be very important for Fightmaster because I thought this was terrible. Yeah, this this hurts for sure. I mean, Bellator is such a good property. It's such a good show. Uh, the fights were great on the weekend. I mean, somebody dropped the ball. Definitely the wrestling lead-in has proven to probably be something Thing. And uh, just, you know, they were targeting their audience. Their audience is fight fans. It's not, and it's Spike fans. It's, it's the 18 to 34 year old male. They were targeting it aggressively last season. This season, I think they spent so much time trying to push this reality show that that's maybe, you know, it reversely affected the show. It was just reality show, fight master, fight master in the lead up to the audience. And I don't think the audience needs another reality show. And what show. does that tell you when fight master with all that promotion did 432,000 views? Now, next week, they could face uh, Game 7 of the Stanley Cup yeah. playoffs, but uh, eventually they're going to not have that excuse of, of hockey going on, which I don't believe is the major contributing factor to this. I think being on a new night and taking away that huge lead in, Impact is the highest rated programming yeah. on Spike, and I think it's your best audience to try and cross over. I, I think that all of this, um, it doesn't spell good things. So I think week four or five of Fightmaster, we're going to see where this show is going to be going. Yeah, and it's really unfortunate unfortunate because like I said you just can't say enough about how good Bellator is so to go the opposite way it's like we're gonna attach ourselves after wrestling which is a huge le huge lead-in and instead go we're gonna attach ourselves and sell this thing that comes after us and hope that people will dig it and that'll draw more people to the actual fights instead people are like ah, another reality thing I don't know yeah whatever and it may have reversely affected it if that's the case there's some really smart people at that network who might go you know what reality show hey man let's just cut our losses and concentrate on on, on focus on Bellator again. You hope that's not the case. If they're up against game seven and you have two terrible weeks in a row, then everybody's gonna be talking about how Spike dropped the ball. Dana White will love that. And it's a real shame because Bellator is a great, great fight show. Uh, we mentioned uh, Hanato Babalu Sabral retiring off of Bellator 96. So now is Seth Petrozelli. I, I think everyone will most remember Seth Petrozelli for October the 4th, 2008, the Kimbo Killer on CBS. Yeah, backing up, Kimbo charging in and just kind of on one leg, popping a jab out and knocking out the uh, YouTube sensation. I'll also remember him as being funny and entertaining. Do you know why he called himself the Silverback? Tell us, Robin. He claims it's because 
Inver the inversely proportionate comparison between body weight and small penis size is largest in the silverback, much like himself. And that, to me, is pretty funny. The more you know, Fight Network <laughs> edition with Robin Black. And quickly, this Jacob Bulkman story, having a seizure the night before his fight, following his weight cut. I mean, we've talked about excessive weight cutting in the past. To me, it's always felt like this ticking time bomb. And this is scary. A guy that says, uh, well, I self-diagnosed myself, yeah. also acknowledging I wasn't going to tell the commission because I might get pulled from this. Yeah, yeah, man, I don't know what he's thinking. Weight cutting is dangerous, and that's why you have medical supervision. He is a medical professional. He knows, should know for a fact there's no way you should fight after that. He screwed that up, and the even dumber thing is telling us about it. He's an odd guy. You, you shouldn't let him talk too much. Yeah, a very uh, w a warning sign, to say the least, for some fighters when it comes Bad to these move. excessive weight cutting practices. But we've got more fight news now extra coming at you, so don't go anywhere.